welcome to IF. We post videos twice a week. Smash that subscribe button and ring that little bell to stay up to date. Gnomes, harmless garden ornaments or a sinister group of angry little creatures? Let's take a look at what secrets these tiny garden guardians hold. Traditionally thought of as diminutive spirits, gnomes were first introduced to the world in the 16th century. Since that time many authors have included these creatures in their works of fantasy literature. Typically said to be a small humanoid that lives underground, dressed in a unique outfit of a loose smock like shirt, tight leggings, pointy shoes and of course the iconic tall pointed hat. But could they exist in more than the ink found in the pages of story and fable? Let's take a trip around the globe and see if gnomes are real. Our first stop is Devon, a county in the southwest of England. Plymouth, a town that sits on the coast and is famously known as the departure point of the pilgrims when they travel to the Americas and legends of pirates and smugglers, has the knockers. For the miners of Devon, these mischievous little imps would make noises letting the men know of their presence hence the name knockers. It was believed that these small gnome like critters lived underground and often interacted with miners in the region. They were ambiguous toward the men invading their subterranean space, doing both good and bad things to those working in the mines. When these gnomes were having a good day they knocked to guide miners toward an all bearing seam or as a warning of impending danger. In some mining communities knockers were even said to appear from walls that contained a thick seam of coal or ore. On their bad days though knockers were to be feared. Like most spirits and fairies the legends tell how they could be both mischievous and malevolent. It was said that they were often to blame for stealing candles, picks and clothes. They also broke and sabotaged the miners equipment. The legend tells us that it was fairly easy to get these gnomes on your side. Just as in the stories of fairies whom are appeased by a bowl of milk, these knockers are appeased by something a little more common in the southwest of England, a hunk of pasty the traditional food of miners. But belief of and sightings of these little menaces is not only found in tales of old England but in modern times and from all over the world. Let's take a look at Argentina. Back in 2008 reports began to surface that a small town in the country was being terrorized by a gnome. The report stated that a very small humanoid creature wearing a tall pointy hat had been seen. These sightings had gone on for quite some time, however it wasn't until footage was captured that their struggle gained international attention. As you can see in the clip, this gnome like creature invokes real fear in those present. It would seem that these gnomes like to get around, as more footage was captured, this time of a gnome crossing a street. <laughs> Cap, uh, mira eso, boludo, mira, 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 espera, 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 esp
Espera. No, no, vamos, vamos. Ahora no curo, no curo, despacito, espera. No, 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 no